Hey, what's up guys? Hobo here, and uh, today I have the second video that I've wanted to do since Home Update 18, and that is the um, update I made to the Underground Zoo. Um, uh, a lot of you have probably already noticed this, but uh, I still want to make a video on it, because uh, I made some changes since I made this a while back. I don't remember what update this was, but uh, it's the same Underground Zoo. Um, the squids got... Um, disappeared, so I'm trying to get more to spawn in there, but, uh, I still have the petting zoo and everything. Um, however, now that animals are, uh, consistent, I have one of each kind in here, um, so far. I still got one wolf over in the corner there. Kind of got pushed by the other animals, but, uh, I got a pig, a chicken, sheep eating the grass, and a cow. So that's what I, what I was hoping for the petting zoo. And uh, all the animals disappeared. So uh, yeah, that's the that's the petting zoo update. Um, I still have the uh, chicken coop. I'm still producing eggs like normal. Still got the uh, feather factory, or I guess rotten meat factory. I should change that sign. And uh, this is where I began to make some changes. Um, I made a little um, biome or something whatever you want to call it, for each and every type of animal, so you can um, breed at your will, and pretty much uh, have pork and meat and whatever you need. So on the right here we have uh, snow golems. Um, I tried to make something uh, like a little house or like area for them to walk in for every, uh, every box zoo thing. So I have three snow golems in here. Um, I took the snow they produce just by shoveling their feet. I made a tutorial on that. And uh, I snowed in all the walls. And I made this little igloo here for them to uh, walk around in. And uh, yeah, this is the snow golem habitat. Uh, they're pretty neat, useful too, for people who don't have a snow biome in the world. Or I don't want to go look for one, rather. Um, this is the pig sty. Pig sty. And. Um, it's a simple grass with a uh, kind of mud pit, if you want to call it that. A mud pit in the back here. And uh, they can roll around and be dirty and you can get your bacon and uh, breed them and such. Every uh, every little hole here is the exact same dimensions. Um, not including the back wall. Like, uh, the back wall is the same dimensions as this back wall, but the innard of the igloo is a little bit deeper, I think. Uh, moving along, we got the cow pen. Um, for this one, I didn't really know what to do, so I made uh, four little stations for uh, milking, if you wish. Little milking stands. No stools, you have to stand. Uh, this one is the wolf. I made him a little hill for them to sit on. Um, these are all the wolves I had down here from before. I just moved three of them over from the petting zoo. Um, I don't have wild wolves in here yet. I have yet to find another and get them in here. They're a little bit more difficult to move than other animals. And, um, yeah, so I'm not sure. You can't breed, I'm pretty sure, tamed wolves. So I'm going to try and get some untamed wolves down here so you can breed them in the 1.2 update, which wolves will be breedable. But as of right now, just some tamed wolves sitting around. And finally, we have the sheep. So I left this one fairly plain, just a little hole so they can, I, I pasture I guess. It's a little cave music over there. But uh, so they can eat the grass all they need. And uh, that's the update I made for the Underground Zoo. Um, like always, I left room for expansion if they ever add more mobs or um, I want to do something else. But, uh, sorry that was bothering me. <laughs> But uh, anyways, yeah, that's the upgrade. Um, more will be coming from the Underground Zoo soon. Sheep pasture. And uh, that's it for the update. Um, I A lot of you asked for some kind of barn thing. Um, this isn't really automated farming system, but uh, you can use it the same nonetheless. You just have to breed them and uh, harvest at your will. So uh, that's the uh, update. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.